Me amo Emma. No hablo español. So I'm going to talk in English. <laughs> um, this is a story of my walk with Jesus. In fact, I didn't even think I had a story. For me, Jesus has always been there. And thankfully, I haven't had any life shattering event happen that has made me realize how much I really needed Jesus. But I've learned that each person's life is a story in and of itself. So embrace your differences and be proud of where you came from. So I grew up in a Christian home and I've been blessed with an amazing family and friends who have been there for me since day one. They've encouraged me all my life to live for Jesus. Growing up, I was the typical Christian girl who went to church and tried to look good in everything that I did, whether it was school, sports, relationships, anything. I was someone who others could come to for advice or to vent to about their problems. I was the one who had it all together, the strong one who had what seemed like a perfect life. But I built up walls and wouldn't let people in. I'd only share the good things about life for fear of being too vulnerable or too soft. I didn't want to disappoint or burden those who trusted me, so I never really told anyone of my personal struggles. When I got to college, I was welcomed by loving teammates who challenged me in my faith. UW Eau Claire was the first place I heard about what a personal relationship with Jesus, with Jesus Christ was. Having this personal relationship has stretched me and challenged me. I've learned that God wants us to be vulnerable and hold each other accountable and to create community. I've been able to take steps of faith outside my comfort zone and learn that everyone has struggles of their own, and we all fall into sin. That's why Jesus died on the cross, so that we wouldn't have to. I've taken steps to break down my walls and continue to be a light for Jesus by loving and forgiving others. I'm not perfect. I have struggles and things I'm not proud of, but Jesus died for me and for you and has taken all of that away, giving us a clean slate. I've been recently told that faith was like a muscle. If you have it, but just let it sit there, it will do nothing for you, and you will be weak. But if you work out, stretch, and grow your faith by knowing and understanding God's word, aka the Bible, and you take risks and action steps through your faith, even if those steps make you stand out from others, you'll become stronger, and God is sure to work in your life. Take the risk. What else do you have to lose? Um, pray to ask him to take control over your life and you will be amazed how he uses you. Uh, thank you for listening to this scary video if you made it this far and I hope you have a great day.